Tinder one time. I matched with this guy. I'm literally my bloody right now. Good morning guys, welcome to another day of Vlogmas. I'm wearing my new gray aloe sweats and my favorite Yeezys. I wish I had more um, bones for you. Oh I do! I have bones for the pups this morning. You are so, so lucky. You are so unbelievably lucky and your bark box is coming soon. Both of yours. Don't worry. Are you excited for this? Find it. Hi guys, me from the future. I'm just popping in here to let you guys know that I am doing a giveaway. I of course would love for you guys to all be subscribed, but the giveaway is on my Instagram. You guys will see a photo where I have it all in the caption that I will have posted today. All you have to do is follow my Instagram and the podcast Instagram and then comment on that post that you guys will see. But I love you guys so much and I just wanted to get back. It's a $250 Visa gift card. I think I forgot to mention that. Um, but yeah, good luck. Guys, me again at the end of this vlog. It's actually a collab with TK, Brooke, and Danielle. TK's is going to be up a day later, but in Brooke and Danielle's vlogs, they're posting theirs today as well. So I will have their channels linked down below. Go subscribe to all of them. I'm sure, I mean, you guys know they're some of my best friends, but also I'm sure you guys all watch them. Anyways, um, let us know if you guys like it, because if you do, we'll definitely do another. Okay, now I'm just like, insecure about my hoodie because it's just like not really making much sense, but I don't care enough to change. Anyways, today I'm gonna start taking my new vitamins and my new med thing that I got. I'll, I'll share it in a sec. I actually have a lot of vitamins that I just don't take, so I need to organize them in a little pill organizer. Megan and Lauren got me this, so cute. Let me show you what we have here. Oh, by the way, I'm Kinsey. If you guys are new here, subscribe. I've shared with you guys how I have PMDD. If you don't know what PMDD is, it's premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Essentially, the week before my cycle, I am like so depressed and so anxious and just so down. I cannot even describe it. During my cycle, it's typically like that. It's just really bad. I've taken actual meds for it. Like Zoloft is actually specifically for PMDD. But um, my body just like reacted negatively to pills this time. I don't really know why. I've like been on meds so much in my life. Anyways, I'm trying a different approach right now and I will keep you guys posted on what I'm doing. So this thing, I actually saw in Emily June's vlogs, one of my favorite vloggers here. I love her so much. Um, I used her discount code and everything. I don't remember what it is. Essentially, it's a herbal and nutritional supplement. You take this like really in-depth quiz. This is not sponsored. I wish it was. Basically, I took a really in-depth quiz on like my cycle, symptoms, all that stuff, medical history. Then they like get something made that's best for you. I'm pretty sure hers are pills. Maybe they're not. But for me, I have a unique blend of herbs to soothe your cycle. Okay, it says in the five to seven days leading up to your cycle, take six full squeezes of the dropper two times a day. If you're experiencing severe symptoms, the dosage frequency can be three to four times a day, the entire bottle is meant to be consumed with each cycle. Oh my gosh. I also like don't track my cycle, which is horrible. What a good conversation to start a vlog off with, you know? Then I also got the mood pills from Love Wellness and then Bye Bye Blow. I think there was like a deal if I got two, but I've heard like these were absolutely incredible and people love these pills. But I really wanted the mood pills because it supports mood and eases occasional stress and frustration. Perfect. Okay, six full squeezes, guys. Two times a day. Hopefully this isn't gross. <laughs> of course I got it on my hoodie. Of course I did. Oh my god, Anna, my sweats. So clearly I'm gonna go have to change the hoodie. I have three more of these to do. The good news is that it doesn't taste bad. But like, are you kidding? Santa, won't you, Santa, Santa, yeah. Okay guys, we have been sitting in the car for about three minutes. Um, every time we go anywhere, we get there, we drive up, and we just take a break before we have to get out of the car. Are you hungies at all? Yes. Are you not? No, no I am. We're going to get coffee oh. at Tribal. What? Oh. Have you listened to one thing? No, but okay, no, I have, but you said coffee. I didn't know no. that just meant coffee and then we're off to the races. I've never actually, well, like, not, I don't want to, like, sit down and order. Yeah. We're going to, like, go up and order. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
I've never had tribal and people love tribal here. Okay. So we need to we are gonna give be it a one shot. with the tribes. Yeah, we're gonna be one with the tribes. I need coffee so bad. It's actually embarrassing. I need an outfit picture. Me too. Oh, my eyes are like watering because I'm so tired. Dang, we finna get tribal with tribal coffee per. Okay, someone's not excited. I'm just so me. tired. Okay, it's time to crank up the energy, Kenzie. Woo! It's Vlogmas. You're right, you're right. Okay. It's here. Christmas cheer. I want someone to make a video edit of all of the vlog clips we have of putting on our mask. Also, guys, I've been back on Twitter lately, and you guys should go follow me on Twitter. I feel like I didn't use it for months because I got locked out of my account, and I just, like, didn't care. That's me. But now I'm back, and I'm better than ever. I forget to tweet so that no one loves me back. <laughs> I, no, have I have my Twitter I Sometimes I go through phases where I have, like, so many good tweets, and then I have nothing to say. I have my Twitter thing in high school from starting beef with people. Did you really? Yes. You were that girl? Yeah, but maybe I should bring it back. Oh my god. Oh, wait, okay. You, you, heard, so this you is, got in Twitter no. fights in high school? So this is funny because, bro, so when I was you back home. grab my. Oh, that's where his leash is. Why did I put it in the car? That's just one of them, though. There's so many. We were well. Well, like, I was well past done with high school and all this stuff. I was on Tinder one time. I matched with this guy. And he's like, hey. And I'm like, hey. And he's like, okay, this is so random. But, like, I used to follow you on Twitter a long time ago. Um, he was like, your tweets are always so funny, and I loved all the beef you used to get into. Oh my god, Embarrassing. Don. Don, that is so not No, it's like humiliating. I... <laughs> and I was like, Hold on. fan energy. <laughs> I'm like, fan behavior. Oh my god. Oh wait, I could have played this This is what you do. Oh. You gotta get it all through. My bag is so cold. Ooh, it's cold. They're seeing if we were leaving. We're not. We are not. We're not leaving. We're not. Okay, I almost just left my phone. But anyways, we're off to Tribal. So excited to try it for the first time. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to say, we're in Bishop Arts today. We're gonna go around to some small businesses and some small shops and see what they have. Um, I wanna just do some small business shopping in Dallas during Vlogmas, so we're starting at Bishop Arts today, and I love this neighborhood. It's also like the most dom neighborhood. Bishop really boys, is that a Bishop thing? Boys. Bishop I'm boys, I'm sure. Yeah, they're, they're your type. Holler company. at me. Okay, this place right here used to be Good Companions, which is actually like legitimately my favorite coffee shop in Dallas, but right now it's like some Christmas thing, and it was a leasing agency during COVID. I'm over myself. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna try the good morning. It's espresso, fresh OJ, grapefruit, lemon, and turmeric. Or should I get the mocha? It looks okay. so good. It looks good, but Dom's looks so much better. And now I have order envy, and you're the one who even got me to get this. Well, you can try this, and I can try yours. We'll see about Just that. Just kidding. Way. You wouldn't do that. How do you put espresso? Am I not supposed to mix this, do you think? I'm not supposed to mix it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. It's actually very, very good. Like, it's really good. This is really good, too. Do you want to try it? No, it's okay. You want to try mine? Yeah. Guys, we totally understand the tribal hype because, first off, our drinks were amazing. Second off, my oatmeal looks so good. It actually, Dom keeps saying it feels like you're in New York. Um, yeah, they were not joking about the size of that burrito. I mean, like, don't get it twisted, I will eat it, but it is really big. But it looks so good. But you know sometimes when you order burritos and you're like... Yeah, I would much rather have that. I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, this looks... Oh, that looks so good. This is this... Yeah, 100%. I don't even know what this place is. Should we go in? I think we should. I mean, it's probably not our style, but I just think they're Christmas tree. I'm just gonna pretend I'm in Gilmore Girls right now. Don't mind me. Yeah, only Fitz was here with you. Apparently, it's his favorite show. It's his that and guys. We right. leave the house and we just talk about the dogs. I'm not kidding. I think half of our conversation <laughs> was literally, literally the dogs. dogs. Yeah, it's really something. Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> I love this. And oh my gosh, guys, it's just the cutest thing you've ever seen. <gasps> Kids' books. I already bought soap stuff, but. Over here, guys, we have Dolly on Python, okay? 
and oh that's cute anyways ooh, what's this just dolly on bishop it's cute i don't even know if they're open right now are they it's like a really nice thrift store no they're not okay well i love it oh they have christmas stuff it is really cute okay we're going into mosaic makers collective looks cute oh my gosh look hi guys <gasps> I think I have to get it. I literally have to get it. I think at the end of the day, like, it's just, it was meant to be. Gosh, it's so cute. I'm actually trying to not shop right now, but I'm just show you guys. Oh, oh wait, do the dogs need these? So cute. I'm a mess today. Oh, these cards are all really cute too. Wait a second. No, that is so perfect. Coco even has wait, a cowgirl hat. Oh! <gasps> Wait, I have to get these. Oh my god, that's literally fits. Oh my god. Do you think Coco will feel left out? No, like that's actually fits. Oh my god, I'm dying. I mean, guys, Merry Christmas, y'all. Like, Dallas, come on. Meowdy, if I was a dog crap person. Epiphany, unique lifestyle boutique. Go on in, Dom. Lead the way. Trying water burger. This is what Dom wants for Christmas. Thank you. 2020 sucks. Wait, should I get this one? 2020 is a toaster bath bomb. Toaster. Yeah, you should. Oh my gosh, it's so Christmassy here. Now this is actually so cute. I love that. Dom just said this is literally me. Like I relate with that. <laughs> this is me, actually. You know what's so rude? When people come to your house and they're rude to your dog. Like, just get out. If Jesus is in return, I'm pretty sure. Urban oil? No, it says owl. There's literally an owl right there. <gasps> I'm alone. Hi, how are you? Hi. These are all oh, incredible. <laughs> the Golden Girls puzzle. Wow, my kid. Oh, would you look at that? I asked for that for Christmas. This is all I want for Christmas. Watch it be like the one thing I don't get after I just made that statement. <laughs> it's so cool though. All right, see, look, these are the books I'm talking about. The Little People Big Dreams, and they have a bunch of people. You're not even looking, so I'm, never mind. I'm looking. Oh. Cute. They're great children's books, okay? Say golden. Oh my gosh, look, it's a big puzzle. Oh my god, I have to get this from my mom. Oh my god, my mom loves puzzles, and she loves prints. This is literally wow, I'm why this. you need to watch Shit's Creek. <sighs> I know I do. Okay, Dom? I can't, I can't, I literally cannot believe that I just found the world's most perfect gift for my mother. I got Sophie the big one. Isn't that cute though? So cute. <gasps> There's a Dolly Parton one. I got that for Sophie. It's not in yet. Ooh, Hawaiian ukulele. I'm like, oh Sophie, do you need a... They have, one for Greta they have it for like pretty much every single like progressive world. It's weird they don't have one for me. Yeah, one day, dog, one day. You know, yeah, that's a good Mother Teresa. That's a really good goal to have. E.T., my mom loved E.T. <sighs> <sighs> my mom really carried her childhood thanks to us. I'm everyone's friend. That's not Coco's. Just kidding. She actually is everyone's friend unless they don't like her. <laughs> Should I get another dolly mug? Yeah. I watched her documentary the other day too. Look how cute, guys. I think I'm gonna do it. Guys, I don't want to remember this year or else I would get that. Great purchases, guys. And I'm gonna bring this puzzle to the lake to so my mom and I can do it there. Oh. Look at how cute those are. Oh, I didn't even see those ornaments. Guys, that was a really great... Oh, so bright out here. Okay, we're gonna go up this way. We're here pretty early, so a lot of things are closed. What's up here? Should we go over there? I think it's just a plant shop. Plants and me don't mix in the winter time. I've decided. Um, but I got some really cute things, as you guys saw. Also, I just wanted to make a little PSA. I used to always, when I was younger, think like, oh, who wants ornaments for Christmas? Because then you like can't really use them after, you know? But now that I'm collecting my own ornaments, I totally get the hype, and I absolutely just love them. And I totally understand why you would want that. Bishop Cider Co., I love cider. I don't know if it's like non-alcoholic cider. I want just the normal kind. This place is cute. Okay, next up, bookshop. Cute. Home on Bishop, you guys know me and my home decor. Guys, so this is a venue. 
But look! Invited guests only, please. We're not invited, but it's really cute. Do you think if I told them that I'm famous, they'll let me in? <laughs> Are you famous, Dom? Yeah. Oh. Famous in the heart of, in the eyes of God. Yeah, famous in the eyes of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> my name's famous in heaven. Oh my God. Do you guys like think we're serious when we say this stuff? Do you think they think we're serious? Probably. Let's go here. Bishop Street Market. Oh, it's loud. This is Kenzie. Ew. Really? It's for you. Shut up, Dom. Guys, I'm getting this for my dad. My dad actually cries at these sort of gifts, so I have to. Okay, this is so cute. Spinster Records. And they buy... Please use your hand sanitizer. So cute. I made Dom walk half a mile and she's so mad. I'm not. This is you in a nutshell. You're all like, oh yeah, it's just like this thing. That's not true. Normally, I, I actually am not really the biggest walker, even though I actually really like walking every time I do. F45, guys. Should I, I try F45? What is this? I mean, I don't want to do it right now, but it's this training. Liz does it, and she like swears by it. I have a lot of friends awesome. actually who do it. It's kind of like, yeah, a little bit. Um, it's like interval. No, this is like, if it was hot, we'd be... This would be a completely different Oh, if story. it was hot, we wouldn't be doing this. We just walked to this other store, which we'll show you in a second, because a lot of you guys are requesting that I go. So I had, I couldn't disappoint, and Dom just wanted me to let you guys down at the end of the what day. The hell? What the Dom, Dom, I feel like you're mad at me. Oh my gosh, Kenzie, why would I ever be mad at you for taking that's, me on an adventure? That's so true. I'm so My pony shop is cute. What's a, ooh, this place looks cute. I like this area. Christmas trees. I've never had a real Christmas tree, but that's because my mom's an interior designer and you can't make real Christmas trees look like how she wants them. Also, we have really bad allergies, so that was like the main thing, but you know. Fun fact, for some reason I've always wanted to go here, but I haven't yet. That's literally me, whoever's blasting that music. That's actually how loud I put my music every single day. In a Tesla. This is where we're going, talking out a turn. Isn't it cute? In yeah, in a Tesla, that's also me. Just kidding, I wish. But I also have friends who like love theirs, you know? Well, I was like looking Oh my god, it's it. really cute. It's very pink. I know, you know more about cars than I do, so I trust you. We're talking about Teslas. I don't know much, Dom always tells me. Guys, so cute. That's, I like the pens. Mug. It's so festive. Look at the happy birthday card. Dom, every store we go to, Dom finds something that's hers, but this is literally me. <laughs> oh, they have like that's fun. But over it AF. This is me when I did your motoring routine. That's the mug I should. Yeah, use. actually. I think I want like a new journal though. Now we're going in here. It looks cute. Is it open? <laughs> Lots of Christmas and stuff. Oh, whoa! It opens into this. We really like both of these sweaters. Oh, you need a puffer? Oh, they have the puzzles. I already purchased a few, but... Jeez. Guys, if I had a baby, which I want a baby now, oh my god. Can you imagine? That is... Oh, even that. In that, all of these. It's like, do I buy it now and wait 10 years? This is really cute, too. I wish I could buy that for Sophie. Dumb, I'm telling you, these Little People Big Dreams books are everywhere and for the kids. Is this a candle? Yeah, I saw that somewhere else too, actually. Oh, no, it's People like love this. Guys, if any of you have tried it, please tell me. Oh, is it worth oh. it? It's just the naughty penguins, guys. Oh my gosh. <gasps> the Santa pajamas. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, my walk is literally dumb jogging. It's not hard. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand slow walkers, I don't understand slow talkers, I don't understand slow drinkers, slow eaters, you know, just got a lot to do in my day. And while I'm a fast walker, Dom is a slow walker, and it's just something that we constantly have to work on. Like, I try to be slow, and I literally can't do it. It's actually, like, painful for me. Like, I have to, like, really think about it and, like, 
Oh my god. How do you walk this slow? Finally. Why? Oh my god, that's so horrible. You know you're gonna take like larger strides. Okay, I'm trying. Comment below, are you guys a slower or fast walker? I think we know which one I am. You know, which one Dom is. It's okay if you're a slow walker, like seriously, it's fine. No, I'm sick and tired of all this slander. <laughs> I just have always been like this. I don't know. I don't <laughs> just know. feel different. <laughs> yeah, I was just born this way, so. This is how God made me, Dom. Okay, anyways. Okay, now we're gonna go into all good things. I think we're wrapping up our small business tour of today soon. But we saw this store and I just thought it was so cute. Okay, like I like, I wish that there wasn't a spiral, but I do like the vibe of their notebooks here. I've been looking for a new notebook as always. Casey's playing, crying. Oh Guys, what? Oh, is that for Zen probably? Probably. It's so cute. Okay. Indigo? Skip the mall, shop small. See, we're in the right area. Guys, look. Picture me. Wow, look. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god. Thousand pieces. The store is really cute and just good for gifts. I'm not even showing you the cool parts now. I just, like, it's just cool. See, some of these mugs are just like great gifts if you get it and it's like perfect and it fits the person, you know what I mean? Starbucks about to check out we got four holiday drinks um, I asked you guys for holiday drink recs so we can try them on camera and let you guys know what we like um, I realized that we're trying Starbucks after doing a little small business vlog this is just what we was requested so much so it just happened to go together perfect how are you Feeling well. How are you? good perfect Thank thanks you, you too I, like I wish we were sitting at the lake we have went to, to that oh, Starbucks. We should have. Oh, we should have. I'm excited. Most excited about the eggnog. Dom really likes eggnog. I'm excited for all of them. This is the first order. You can just screenshot this if you'd like. Or it is a grande iced coffee, two pumps cinnamon dulce syrup. Syrup. Is it dulce, dulce or, or dolce? I was thinking that earlier when I said it, but no <laughs> one said anything. No. Okay, two pumps white mocha, light cream. I can't do this, it's gonna spill on me. I'm sorry, you know. Okay, taste test, are you ready? Yeah. Drum roll. This is very good. This, this is very good. It is? I think so, yeah. It's um cinnamon. Yeah, I like the cinnamon. Do you not like cinnamon? I'm not a huge cinnamon person. Got it, that would make but sense But this is, then. this is like a refresh, the nice refresher. It gives you a nice little little dash lift. of cinnamon yeah a little lift a little yeah. spike of cinnamon your breath will smell good after this because mm. all the cinnamon i liked it to give you guys a little background on the drinks we like i will drink black coffee dom you said you like sweeter drinks than i do um it just really depends on the situation like it just if i'm like having a good time then i'm gonna order a mocha but if Got i'm it. just like okay we need to get down to business like i'm just gonna get a cold brew you know what i'm saying yeah that's fair our favorite starbucks is, well my favorite i think it's your favorite too sometimes but it's mainly my favorite um okay my favorite starbucks drink that i always get in the holiday season it's not a seasonal drink but it's seasonal to me okay it's the vanilla circum cold brew sub peppermint for vanilla it is so good. So I always get it without vanilla and then with peppermint instead of vanilla, but Keaton, you liked it better too when just adding four pumps of peppermint because it's yeah. sweeter, but I just like no vanilla yeah. with peppermint. I think um, if I did that, I wouldn't do four. I would do like two because I did drink it and get a, I got like a little like nauseous. Keaton really likes sweet she drinks. She likes yeah. sweet drinks. This is good if you're on a date with someone and you guys go to Starbucks because of the cinnamon and then if you guys kiss, yours. Your breath is gonna taste good. Wow, that's so kind of you. Okay, this is Keaton's kind of drink right here because it's so, literally straight it's up literally white. white. It looks so good. It actually is because she loves iced chais with like other things. <sighs> this is a tall iced chai tea latte, iced obviously. Add eggnog foam. That looks so good. That's this is my straight J up a Keaton drink. That's my JM right there. It's very sweet. It's good. I would not be able to drink that much of it. 
Yeah. I'm drinking the rest of this. Okay, that's yours. Then. This is so good. This literally tastes like this is so good. It was really good. This it's just is really so sweet. good. This is my shite. Okay, right wait. Here. We have to rate them. What? No, what is that? I would give that like a six out of ten. It's ten. Okay, there eleven. We go. The last one I would give like an eight or a nine. No, I. Didn't. Okay, next drink. <laughs> Guys, we're just really tired and I'm hungry still right now. This right now. <laughs> Dog's about to just down the whole thing. I am. <laughs> okay, this is an ice latte, extra ice. I did not tell them extra ice. They're trying to scam us. I feel like we did. Did we do that one ice? No. No. Okay. Almond milk, cinnamon dolce, dolce, dolce. Again dolce. with the cinnamon. This is not me. This is not me. Okay, I don't even order cinnamon on my stuff. Okay. Wait, this person is walking like they're like I love the ankle weights. I have uh, they're not Bala. Never mind. I have the Bala ones. I'm really trendy, you know. <laughs> um, it's about a four out of ten to me. Oh God. It's just like kind of. I mean, it's there. Like I would drink it and not really have that much of a problem, but I wouldn't like wake up in the morning craving it no. like I do my peppermint cold brew. This ain't it. Not it, right? Okay. What's yeah, your rating? It tastes like popcorn. Oh my god, it kind of does. Is that after taste? <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, this one. It's, yeah. This is really <laughs> messy right now. It's Rest a beautiful color, though. Okay. We didn't get a stopper, so. Yeah. She got you right now. <laughs> She's, <done>. She's a little messy. <laughs> you okay? No. Tall peppermint mocha. Didn't I make it more special than that? Yeah, dark chocolate. Maybe they already used dark chocolate. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, that's what someone told me. Okay. That's what I get, so, oh, oh. Is it on you? All over my hoodie and my sweats. Like, seriously? <sighs> Shoot. Like, literally, guys, I already changed to get, mm. that's why I changed this hoodie. Mm. Sorry. I mean, it's fine, I guess. That's I didn't happened. even really get Is to it taste hard? it, because it all went on my hoodie. So we'll take the cap off. That's what we should have done. Be careful. Is it hot? Yeah, it's fine. Can't well, what it does that mean? Me. Oh my god. Wait, this is getting on me. I'm scared now. Okay, just give it to me at this point. Like, I can't do anything worse to myself, so. This is literally. It's really good. It's good if you want, like, a hot chocolate. Like, that's what I would, I would compare it to. Mmm. So good. Well, I get this ice. Conveniently, Dom just got about four Starbucks drinks. <laughs> okay, but back to my eggnog. Oh my god. <laughs> this is literally my blitty right now. <laughs> she is so good. I literally love her. Like, this trip was worth it because of this drink. <sighs> oh my god, bro. It's so good, Kenzie. Why don't you care? Everyone's gonna tag you in those. I guarantee it. Please tag me in this because this right here... It is doing something to my taste buds. Oh my gosh. What? One of my parents' Christmas gifts is they back ordered it. Kenzie, this is bad. I just mixed in a bunch of cheese into my taco soup. It looks so incredible. Clearly, it is much later in the vlog. I have to show you guys what just came in the mail. So listen, I promise I'm actually a fun aunt. This is just what was requested of me from my niece. I'm obviously getting her other things besides this for Christmas. But speaking of showing so much little people big dreams, we have Dolly Parton and Ella Fitzgerald. Aww. She just wanted books. She said, I want lots of books. And I said, okay. A is for awesome, 23 iconic women who changed the world. And then I got, Dolly Parton, a child book, another one. And then I got Sav, this little feminist 500 piece puzzle. So cute. Guys, it's so cute. I just posted on my Instagram stories. I know they already sold out, but I'm sure she's doing a restock, I'm pretty sure. So this is so cute. I feel like I'm literally in Danielle's vlogs right now. Danny, I'm so happy for you. Oh my gosh, she has wanted to come out with a planner for literally years also. Oh my gosh, this looks great. Well, thanks Danielle, I love it so much. Um, I'm sure that there will be a restock soon, so go follow her for more. You just ordered ramen. All right, everyone, I'm so glad that you're here. We're playing the confessions game. 
if you're, ah. not, if you're not really strangers, all right? So okay. everyone, we just filmed three other clips on Brooke Danielle and TK's channel, so I'll have them linked below, um, and you guys can go watch them. Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah. girl. You use the names. <laughs> okay. Who do you dislike or even hate but still find sexually appealing? Do we use these? Do we use y'all's names? No. You <laughs> No. no, um, mine's like, you can just say whatever you want. Okay, okay, okay. Mark. Who do you not oh, like you find hot? Oh, oh my I gosh, know I know what I'm going to say. I know what I'm going to say. Ew. Okay, we're going to bring it back to Bachelor, because it's literally the cringiest crap ever. But I still think he's so cute. Pilot Pete. I know, I see the TikToks. I want to throw up too, but I do think he's a I cute do. boy, you guys. Do I think vibes. Do we? You don't? Dweeby vibes. Dweeby vibes. That yeah. dude cannot do a push-up. There's no way. I, th I was attracted to him for sure. Who? I don't like him, but I feel like I don't actually like him. I just think he's cute. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Taylor Holder, the TikTok. Good oh, one! I see that. I see that. You're saying, like, uh, applicable people. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's, like, the first thing that came to my mind. I'm sure I could come up with a better one. That's, that's good. Super. Not Griffin Johnson. Fair. Ooh, fair. Love to hate him, but my, my attraction levels. Good. He's good. He's good. <laughs> he's sitting back like a coach. He's good. He's good. Yeah, he's very good. I want to say someone like Dave Portnoy, but like I love him. Are you? A I know you don't like. I know you don't like the Dave Portnoy, but Emily June and I stand. I know she loves him. You find him hot. I just think I love his big dick energy. Uh, they're, yeah, they're talking about him. Okay, fair. Yeah. Okay. What might your Wait, what did you say? Oh, I just <laughs> uh, the Griffin whatever guy from TikTok. Griffin Johnson, you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm most interested to hear your answer to this, mainly because I hope that you're going to answer correctly. Oh no. Well, I guess I wouldn't be surprised. But what might you be most? I know who I should have should have said. What? I know who I should have said. Oh, okay. It's like, it's like, who do I love to hate? But, or I yeah. love, I love them, but like secretly I'm like, I low key lately, I've been loving the vlogs. I can't believe I'm saying this. Logan Paul. Ooh. I can't believe you're saying it either, but I'm actually not surprised. I just surprised. like, if you listen to his podcast, like he definitely, I'm not like here going to defend him like for life, but like, I just really like the way that he's rebranded his stuff. I hear his podcast changes things for him. His podcast is so good. Oh, you sent me one. I actually did. Yeah, listen. you did. Me too. You're out here doing free PR for him. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh. What might your friends be most surprised to learn that you'd love to try professionally? Well, Kenzie, for you, it was sewing. I was very shocked. Yeah, me too. That threw me through a loop. Not I don't get the sewing I'm hype. I'm really not this year. <laughs> I don't get the sewing hype. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so <laughs> bottom of my list for sure. Autumn. I respect it. It's really cool. That cool. wouldn't be what I would want to do career-wise. Like, what would be surprising? Yeah, what would be surprising? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what would be, like, Actually, surprising. it doesn't need to be surprising. Just, oh. Like, yeah. I would love to be, like, a sports reporter. Um, Danielle and I actually talked about this on the pod today. A fun fact, actually really sad fact, my, my life's dream was to play the flute but I got rejected and they made me play the violin instead. So, uh -huh. you know, yes, I swear. Idiot. I just don't think you have such a strong future in comedy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you watched there. Last year, guys. I want to see Brooke on The Bachelor. Oh, uh -huh. Brooke, can we just do it? I mean, it's a little hard to throw my name in the ring. Like, I'm not going to apply, but like, if someone else hypothetically did, I. I wouldn't reject the phone call. Okay. Signing for the like, show up for The Bachelor, asterisk T, my next title of my next Vlogmas vlog. <laughs> um, Danielle. Well, I was going to say, I, Brooke, I could have sworn I said to you, like, if I did it, would you be upset? Maybe at that time you weren't ready for it. That was a year ago, you know? I was at a different place emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, my not surprising, I, because we were talking about it on our podcast today, um, I would have loved to have been a musical theater if I was a better singer, like, or just, like, in theater acting, like, I love performing arts. I love that. 
She's an artist. I would wow. be an author who like doesn't have to leave her house and just like uh-huh. live in the mountains or and, something. And like wears cardigans. Yeah, and, like, that's what I would do. I love that. I love that. I love that. Yeah, you're such a cardigan gal. Yes, yes, you remind me of like just all those Colleen Hoover books. Big cardigan <laughs> energy. Yeah. Huge. This is worded weird, but I'm asking this just because we always lie about our jobs out and about. Yeah. Um, but this is juicy in the words of TK. When you fib about what you earned last year, what do you say? If you didn't fib, what would you say? Like when Wait. you're lying to someone or whatever. About like, I guess job, because I wasn't really thinking money. Yeah. Like salary. Well, I've never had to lie because I had I was not making money on YouTube until like very, very recently. And now I'm shook out of stun boost how much y'all been making this whole time. <laughs> confused on the question i am trying to when you lie about your job what do you say well danielle and i used to say we knew each other from family connections (laughs) so (laughs) we get caught i thought it was about how much money you make well it was but i like changed it yeah um no but that's the point it's like when you lie about your salary i more so met like what more so when people like realize you make money how and then they ask kind of thing Okay. You know, what do you I do? Say for I like work with companies to promote their products, but I don't like. I don't say I'm an influencer. I'll be like, I just like help companies promote their products. That's what I'll say. And I just say I'm a producer for like TV shows. <laughs> That's. I mean, you kind of are. Kinda I say like marketing loosely because that was my degree. So I'm like, marketing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know the TikTok trend that's like I'm an accountant or whatever. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Describe the temperament of your ideal partner the temperament like what they're like <laughs> okay sorry big word These are um, high big on words. life <laughs> high on life sounds very low to all of you tk <laughs> <laughs> literally you like it because he's from the midwest yeah just like excited to be whatever the fork we're doing you know what i mean just like passionate excited outgoing like yeah. on the same level of of like high on life as i am yeah I like a curious man. <laughs> <laughs> curious George. George. Like curious man. Intelligent. No, I do. I like when they're like, when you say something and they're like, wait, tell me more. Like, and yeah. even when okay. they, meet someone, you know, when you meet someone, they're like so genuinely interested in you and it's like, oh my God, I could talk to you all day. Like, I like that. I don't know how to describe that. Like, yeah. Yeah, I guess passion. Well, same with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I like- just, Stable man. Like, I just want to say. Stable man. Amen, y'all. I thought. Calm me down, be there, be down for things, and just be stable. I like that. Stable. Yeah, emotionally stable. I feel like I'm always gassing, like, people up in in life, and I want, like, my guy to always be gassing me up. You deserve it. You deserve it, sis. (laughs) Yes. Which of your friends do you envy the most? I feel like I'm gonna say Brooke. <laughs> Brings out the sign. Because like the girl just like I feel like she has she wakes up in forking New York. She does her school cycle ride. She <laughs> lives the life that I wish I could live. Cause I feel like I'm always like so chaotic, like I don't know what I'm doing, blah blah blah. And she just like has it planned, goes by the and it's like cool that you live in New York and like I don't know. I just feel like I Brooke too. I Brooke, you've also like really come into yourself even more than ever before this year. Yeah, it's just you're glowing. You know. Oh my god! Thank you so much. No, I really feel like I'm finally like in the place that's my, like I was bopping around. I, I felt like you had like chaotic energy, and now I'm like chaotic. Energy. Yeah, very chaotic okay. energy. Right I now. was actually gonna say I think it would be interesting to live a day in everybody's life, obviously, but I was gonna say Taylor because I would like to see what it's like to work a job that I actually like. you actually really like it yeah I feel like you get to be creative like you get to like and we studied like not similar things but I feel like we're similar in some in a lot of sense yeah I feel like yeah we might well the other thing that's cool too is like every day at work I feel like a little sponge and I'm like learning so much for like I'm like ooh, I should like take that and use that with my own thing or whatever which is cool because I'm like constantly learning which is cool and it's like stuff you want to learn about yeah yes. and I feel like out of all the cities that we're all in I I definitely love Dallas love lived in Athens myself but I like LA I feel like would be fun to do for a bit so I and Taylor's apartment 
I want that life too. Like, <laughs> but we should do like a when the pandemic's over, a switching like for a day, and you just like. <laughs> That would be crazy. Iconic. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be really annoying and say why I envy each of you because you guys kind of already hit all the points. Um, <laughs> Kenzie, I just think that you are just so like maybe you don't, but you you seem as if you have your whole life together. And I just yeah. love to be back. Yeah. You're really good at sticking to a routine, which I'm not. Like you'll read a whole book and like you'll wake up every morning. <laughs> a whole and- book. I can't even imagine reading a book. Yeah. <laughs> like, like a whole one? Yeah, a whole one. Like many of them. I can't even imagine reading like five chapters. Genuinely. Oh, you got Stop. <laughs> well, I did over the summer, but not right now. Like, I don't know. Well, I buy books on Amazon. I don't read them. <laughs> you know, in depth of some of them. Um, and I just love the idea of living in Dallas. It's like a city, but it's like you still have like the suburb life. Um, mm-hmm. And you have a golden doodle. And I love cocoa too, but you have a golden doodle. Yeah, you have, like, literally makes chicken noodle soup. I yeah. know. <laughs> I'm like, how? Oh, I, I can't even think about literally even having time to look up the recipe. No. Can I, I have like, a theory that I'm going through like my domestic, like coming into adulthood. Yes. Stuff. Unbelievable. But it's going to be like, I was talking to a friend, I'm like, I'm either eloping in 2021 or I'm going to be, like, career for the next, like, five years. Like, I'll switch again. You know what I mean? I I love your little Taylor Swift moment. It's like, now I'm a housewife. Okay, next album. Now I'm this. I I was really going to say, I feel like Kenzie has it together because she has a garage that she, like, turns (laughs) in. She has a rooftop. Who has a garage? Who has a rooftop? (laughs) When I got to the place, I felt very mature because I had a garage. Like, that was really my thing that I was most excited for. Oh my <laughs> she literally has a rooftop. Yes. A oh, private oh, rooftop. Like, waters plants with the, like, what are yeah. these? All of those things. And then really quick, Brooke's in the city I want to live in. And, like, obviously her apartment, everything's beautiful. Taylor, I love your personality. And I literally just wish I was always that outgoing as you. And you're just mm-hmm. like, and you, like, remember things about people and just all the things. So, sorry. I had to guess all of you up a little bit. <laughs> I would retweet to all of that. It would be fun to like all swap, you know? Yeah. Honestly, anyone who's watching this, take a drink anytime I do this. I, this kind of sounds like we're leaving off on a depressing note, but I feel like it would be a, a positive thing to leave off on. I, Danielle will, should just answer last because I know it'll be positive. <laughs> I'm mainly upset about something personal and I'm like, well, I have a bomb ass career. Like that's, yeah, I I always am saying, well, like I have a sick ass job. Like that's, I'm always saying that it's very rare. Like I hardly ever think like, oh, my job sucks. Like I literally hardly ever have that thought. So even before that, like just comparison, because we've talked about this before when it's like, oh, I feel like I should be here at this stage or I feel like just like putting pressure on yourself. Can't compare your day one to their day 850 or even more like however. Yeah. So I agree with that. I always tell myself, like, we're so lucky to have a job where we could be literally as creative as we want, essentially earn the earnings are untapped. Like even at the best day at my old job, the earnings are capped. Like you could literally be outperforming everybody in the whole company and like they cap you, you know what I mean? So So I feel like to have a job where, yeah. So to have a job where it's so like the potential's endless is like such a, like a blessing to hate like I hate to be like corny but like it really is and I know not everybody has that so like I re- like I just remember how lucky I am mm-hmm. yeah I would agree with what all of you said um I think comparison's a big thing that I get into sometimes especially like since most of us like I've been on YouTube literally for 10 years now and it's like it, it's tough sometimes when you like literally you know have your following whatever but then like someone like literally gains like a million followers mm-hmm. in a year and you're like Mm. but then you kind of think to yourself well dang like I I don't want anything to have changed like you, you I got to live like this life where I go to college and high school and like have a semi-normal life and like I wouldn't like literally be where I am right now if it weren't for it and you wouldn't have the friends you would have and you would people would probably be really annoyed with you all the time you know like it just like completely would change your whole life so it, everything is just everyone's on their own journey so I like that I will say I like definitely feel like moving to LA I like 
I felt like I was a pretty confident person. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm ugly as shit. Like literally like LA made me realize like, oh my God, I need to get my like jawline snatched and like blah, blah, blah. And like do this to my nose. Like things that I never realized. Like I never picked myself a part of like for like my eyebrow or just like anything. And now I'm like, holy shit, and you got to get this fixed and the blah, 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 and then the Botox and the blah, 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 like everything. Like when I go home, I'm like, oh my God, I'm cute. Like in the Midwest, I'm like solid eight or nine, maybe even 10 out of 10. In LA, I'm like solid four, three or four in LA. But when I'm back home, I'm like, oh, I'm cute. It's just like LA, it's so hard to compare yourself because like everyone and their mother gets so much stuff done to them. And it's just not realistic to compare to. Mm-hmm. I think just comparison in general too, it doesn't matter who you are. Like people at the top of the top, a lot of them still struggle with comparison. So it doesn't Sometimes it's the worst. Yeah, sometimes it's worse. And also like people compare themselves to us too. And like, you know what I mean? Like we compare ourselves and they compare, you know, it's like this never ending cycle that just doesn't productive. Totally. totally. That's why I really do. I mean, of course I do do the filters and stuff on Instagram and whatever, but like sometimes when I'm vlogging and I like have no makeup on or whatever, I try and really not like, I used to be like, Oh my God, I need to be super cute. Anytime I like pull out the camera. Now I'm like, I'm honestly kind of excited when I like look like shit. Cause I'm like, Oh, people will actually see like, this is me. Like, you know, I can like relate to this, blah, blah, blah. Cause I personally love like when like Emma Chamberlain doesn't have any makeup on or whatever, like whoever I'm watching. I love when they like low key look like crap too. Cause I'm like, thank God. Like I'm not the only one. So true. Wow. RT. <laughs> RT. All right guys. So that is it for this vlog. I'll have all of their channels linked down below. There are three more videos. So go watch them. Love you guys. Woo! And talk to you tomorrow.